Hello everyone, this is Ron again with Strangely Normal and today I'm taking a look at a game that I enjoyed quite a lot uh, when I was younger. Um, it's uh, an action RPG game, it's a dungeon crawler. That game is uh, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. This game when it came out kind of got mixed reviews um, mostly because the graphics weren't necessarily the best. Um, but I really liked the mechanics and also what you could do with the characters, um, the individual characters. Um, each had varying builds that, that you could do. Um, I'm going to be taking a quick look at the character I always played a lot, which was the thief. We'll wait for this to load here. We should get started a new game. Here's the open cinematic. This is just some backstory kind of stuff here. I think basically uh, what happened was is these guys, they killed some evil wizard a long time ago, and then the evil wizard has come, and then they all died, and then the evil wizard has come back, and they have to stop the evil wizard. And then, um, that four heroes thing, um, speaking of that, that is something that is rather unique to this, um, this, this game did support four players at once, which was, um, so something of a rarity at the time. Other games like it, like Quality Trips, like Alliance, generally only supported two. And then there's the four heroes. Killed all of them. Then, 150 years later, present day, Bell Crips. That's his crypt. Freeze him, and his magic will be ours to control. These are the heroes who defeated Caden before? They are, Your Excellency. Uh, pardon the question, but do you think they might be able to defeat him again? Against Caden, they are our only hope. There is no time to waste. Let us hope Paylor raises them all. Well, we should, the four guys who beat him first, we should totally have them do it. Yeah. We're going to be the rogue. Yep. I always liked playing as the rogue. Um, I liked how, just how the character worked. And the fact that the character was also the only character with a basic range attack. Steady. You must be disoriented. Allow me to explain. And then, here's the graphics. We resurrected you to defend As you can us see, from your old foe, definitely Cain. not the best, even life, for the time. Cult of but not terrible. He could be and to do their bidding. Considering that and most of the game you don't spend in this sort of goals. viewpoint, it's okay. You are the kingdom's only hope. From here, you must go to Castle Bale and pass through its portals and keep the planar gems from him. Then, 
you must defeat him again. Your journey through these crypts to Vale will strengthen you for the challenges that surely lie ahead. We will stay here to sanctify his tomb, but our blessings shall follow you. going to be started here shortly. Let me take a quick moment. There's some of my moves. This. There's the map. And you can adjust the camera. I think there's a tutorial over there. I just want to kind of get into it here. Let me see. That's just options. And then here's your inventory and your skill screen where you can where you can choose what you want to do. Um, the neat thing about this game is there is like there's actually different ways to build your character that work at least decently well, which is always nice. Um, whenever I played this character, I would always build it to be like a melee powerhouse with some ranged backup always worked really well. One neat thing about all of the characters is that is that they totally can every single one, even the wizard, can totally be good at melee. And in fact I played through this game one time and I made a melee wizard and it was actually very effective. Um, it was pretty neat. Breaking open boxes. Oh, spider. So, yeah, I mean, overall, it's pretty basic. But I like it just because the action always seemed to go at a decent clip. And never really seemed to get locked at all. But, you know, it's a pretty standard, I guess, you know, dungeon crawler. Okay, let's see if we can get just a little bit into it. I'd like to actually maybe level up and show the skill screen a little bit, but we'll see. Then in the upper, in the upper left hand corner there, where, where it has my character name, you can see various things. The the, cir the semicircle looking thing, that's actually the XP bar. Red and by red red and blue bars. Health and mana basically. See how many are going down. And then uh, keys and potions. Which um, the potions are actually mapped to the black and white buttons. It's actually that's actually something that's actually pretty uh, well done. Before you um, go, works pretty well. I must tell you about the soul shards. And your final battle with Caden. Oh, yeah, he's talking about the um, these weapons that each character has. They're called these ancestral weapons. You the basically you, you get these these soul, soul shards, shards, which increase the power of the ancestral shards weapons. Regain their for the for the thief, it's their bow. Them. For the fighter, it's their sword. For the wizard, it's their staff. For the cleric, it's their repository. Basically, it it's like it's like there. having a weapon that you keep with you at all times that you upgrade to eventually become like a powerful weapon. Caden's power weapon. grows. You mustn't waste time. He must concentrate. Leave him be. That's a save point. He must concentrate. Leave him be. Caden's power grows. You mustn't waste time. good about this game is that its controls are actually pretty decent and they're kinda and they're actually kind of similar to the way on a console a uh, hack of fast RPG kinda of started doing it where basically you have a face button for, for your regular attack and then you 
and then you use the other ones to do like special moves and things like that. And it does work pretty well. And then if you, if you want to switch, you can pull a trigger and it will actually let you switch. Basically, almost on the fly. That's blocking. Blocking is most helpful against certain enemies. Well, um, the bow with this character can be surprisingly powerful if you know if you know what you're doing, especially with like basically like multi shot. And then you just start basically just clearing out an area. One thing I would like always do is just start sending arrows into an area before I went to explore. It, like, I Later on, you would not believe how many enemies that will actually trigger or just an outright kill doing stuff like that. That's just because this game, these early parts are not very well, exciting. So, but I at least get to show it off a little bit. Oh, found a secret area. Got a bunch of gold, some chests, and some more barrels to break. Hooray! Okay, I'll have just a few more minutes and I'll end. These skeletons, I always kind of like that one. Like, I mean, uh, oh, okay, that was kind of neat, but that's mostly just me. Chess was trapped. Good thing I meandered away before. Uh, so let's see if I can. Kind of depends on how many enemies I face in the next few minutes or so. See if I could just find some better use to kill. I'm oh, faster. Jesus, son of the I'm 
Oh yeah, that's some. Um, he basically just gave us a quest and said, "Hey, you gotta go do this." Yeah, see, that's the best use of the block, and it's kind of weird because because when you hold on the black button, you just block something, and you keep pressing forward. While it's like blocking it, it will actually let you move forward a bit. So, it's, so, so if you're just getting like hit by a, like arrows at once, you can just hold it down and slowly inch forward. Aiming with a bow isn't, isn't the best, then again, there isn't a mouse, it, you know, it's not like some other ones where you have mouse and keyboard, it's really helpful that you have to use an analog stick, so, but once you get the hang of it, it does, it's not terrible. Kill this guy here. Oh. And then it says, you know, get some hit points. And then I can I can improve a uh, move or a skill. Just for sake of this, I'll do multi-shot. And then as you as you level up you get more skill points. But now that I have it. And there are actually two arrows at once. All right. Well, um, I will call it that for um, for Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. Um, honestly, I would check this out if you get the chance, but um, don't be, don't go too nuts about it. I guess if you miss it, um, I did like it. I beat it multiple times, but uh, it's certainly not the best example of the genre. Um, but it isn't bad. So uh, that is it for uh, this week of uh, Strangely Normal. Um, as usual, Facebook, email, Twitter, any comments or suggestions, always more than welcome. Um, if, you like the video, if you like the video, please like it, and uh, you know, tell your friends all that stuff, and uh, I will see all of you next week.